Welcome to the video number three. In this video, we are going to see about the one reason that helps anyone to be successful in export business. So from the first video, we saw about how we are going to uh, have this three day course. In the second video, we saw about how exports are happening and different reasons for failures in export business. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about one skill called marketing and the way to achieve this skill. So I, if you remember, I told you about a lady called Kasturi in the last video. She was able to follow this method and she is now exporting her product to Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Dubai, Belgium. So the results based upon how much amount of work and effort you are going to put in. But these steps are common to anyone. So after started working with Kasturi, I realized the need for the service is more in the industry because not everyone able to cover marketing and sales in exports. Yes, we are good at procedures. We are good at different trade policies, but there is a particular need to identify, particular need to help exporters in marketing and sales. So the current trend in marketing is the inbound marketing. So this word marketing, it's not coined by me. It is integration of sales and marketing. So we are going to use this method in exports and see how we can succeed in export business. So I started um, equipping myself to be able to guide anyone in the export business. So that is one of the reason we are providing the service to different type of traders and manufacturers and newbies uh, startups in exports. Uh, I am qualified and I'm certified from International Trade Center to help SMEs generate export business and also certified from Indian Institute of Foreign Trade in Exports Imports Management. And I also have a master's degree in international marketing. So this makes me a qualified person to talk about marketing and sales in export business. So how could you achieve this marketing skills? Uh, it is easier for anyone to develop a new skill and at current scenario, it is very important whatever stage you are in to constantly equip yourself with new skills so that the work becomes convenient for you. It is going to be more challenging in future because now we get artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, so data analytics. So we have to use all this available technology and science, data science and exports as well. So other method includes these data analysis and ana analytics and equip anyone who takes the steps to achieve the result. So to achieve this marks marketing skill, we use a method called reverse sourcing method. As the name suggests, it is the reverse approach of what's happening in the market. So what is reverse uh, sourcing um, uh, marketing method? It starts with identifying the potential market. That is the right market for your product and right type of buyer for your product. And what are the obstacles to export to them and the op opportunity that presence in that market segment. And then when you are taking steps to achieve all this, you eventually get into the export order. Why this method is effective? The export business is totally different from the domestic business. You have to follow 80 to 20 rule. In domestic business or local business, you'll have infrastructure, you'll have a product or a, you'll have uh, goods at your place so that if anyone uh, comes to you, you'll be able to sell that product. But in exports, it doesn't work that way because not every time uh, a buyer chooses a supplier after knowing what kind of product they have in hand or what is their capacity of supply. Because in export business, export, uh, the importer looks for the value of money. They already know, they are well aware of the market where they can get their goods, which place will be most suitable for them. So the main challenge of an exporter is to position themselves in the right place where their ideal client or ideal customer will be able to deal with them. So we follow a 80 to 20 rule. That is 80% of your efforts should be spent on planning and preparing for your export business, then the 20% on execution. We talk about three level of work, which I'll cover it in the tomorrow's videos. 
so if you do this 80% of work uh, systematically and as as it should be done the 20% becomes easier so the main uh, that 10 reasons which we saw in the last video about the failures that comes in the 80% category so if you have if they have done this 80% well then they risk they mitigate all kind of risk right from the payment failure uh, not able to get regular orders or spam inquiries uh, high competition people say that export business is highly competitive business but using this method we know how to uh, stay ahead of the competition in the market so for you a uh, research work because you need not uh, trust my word for everything you can do the research work if you find that two successful exporters and if you explore how they are able to get export order or consistently be successful in exports then you will identify they have followed this pattern sometimes without knowing that they are following this pattern sometimes they will be well aware that this is the steps they are taking in to be successful if you do that uh, research work please comment below that you have done a research and if you are looking for this reverse sourcing method blueprint steps uh, you can join on my fb page that is mahalashmi arun rajkumaran and drop a message in messenger uh, you will receive a blueprint so in the next video next video that is tomorrow we will see how to do that 80 percentage preparing planning and preparing for your expert business successfully if you found this useful and you are able to understand that there is only one method that is required to be successful in export business type below that i am a successful exporter i am a successful exporter yes you are going to be a successful exporter if you take action and take action systematically meet you tomorrow bye thank you